reviews, but I'm joined by the guys on the Philex Beer Reviews. Is this, who's this guy? I'm Dan. I'm Mike. So this is Mike and this is Dan, FLX Beer Reviews, and we're reviewing, why are we reviewing Mike? I mean Dan, I mean Dan Mike. Mikey Dan? Tell me uh, what we're reviewing. We're reviewing something. Uh, this is a beer from the Hill Farmstead. <laughs> Show the people. The prestigious. The prestigious Hill Farmstead Brewery. Oh, what's it called? Ah, uh, this is their Twilight of the Idols. Um, what's the ABV on this? They don't tell us. Zero. Uh, yeah, 7.2, and it's a winter porter brewed with... Coffee, cinnamon, cinnamon and aged in the Philippines. Philippines. How about that? Uh, it was bottled on. Oh, gosh. October 30th, 2019. Over two years old. And <laughs> share, consider, enjoy. And uh, this beer is to be consumed within six months of release. We're kind of close yeah. to that. Uh, Should it mean six years? We're good. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be very interesting. Come Mike's on, the only on, guy on. I know oh, that has Random Hill Farmstead hanging out in their fridge. It's like, oh, I guess we'll drink that. What do you mean? Let's drink it. That that is like clap. Oh yeah, it's rushing up. You it's better. Coming. Oh no, it's not. Oh, no, 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 stop. No, this uh, this was sent to me by uh, Keith. Over at 93 Lumber. Okay, cool. Keith is just sending you random. Random. He had him lying around. He was like, ah, I got to give this to somebody. So yeah, Keith. he sent it my way. I'm not for it. Shout out to Keith. I'm for it. All right. <clears throat> uh, so anyways, yeah. We're at FLX Beer Reviews, as uh, Joe mentioned previously. It's <laughs> just a mess. Oh, boy. Uh, this is going to be fun. Say this is... for your wife in case she wants it. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Uh... Oh, it looks awesome in the it glass. It certainly it looks, looks great. Yeah, I was just going to say it. Hmm. Looks like Coke in the glass, though. Coca-Cola yeah, or, really or Dr. Pepper. Some kind of... Some kind of some Creamy, frothy head. Yeah. Yep. Big bubbles, little bubbles, medium bubbles. No discriminating bubbles. All sorts of bubbles. Make sure you name all the bubbles. We don't want anyone left out. Is there okay. any other bubbles? Um, no. Just, yeah. You sure? No. Someone's going to yell at you about the bubbles. 100%. Only if they don't like Trailer Park Boys. Well, those people don't deserve to yeah. exist in general. Ouch. All right, let's get a... Uh, well, you don't like Trailer Park Boys. I love Trailer Park Boys. It smells pretty fucking good. It smells dry. dry. It's... Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, I get the cinnamon 100%. Cinnamon, it's it's dark roasty. <sighs> Dude, cinnamon and coffee. That smells nice. Yeah, I'm getting that dark roast coffee. I'm glad... So, the, pro the problem with a lot Baker's, of times coffee and older beers, it has that, like, green pepper or it kind of fades or it becomes, like, real, like, astringent. Not happening in the nose anyway. Hmm. It, it smells all right. It's a little subdued. Man, I'm getting, like, mocha, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coffee. I'm not getting even Cinnamon. No, I'm not really getting yeah. It's... It's barrel aged too, right? No, it's not. Just, just aged on vanilla. Beans. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm not really getting, but I'm getting something that could be. Well, I mean, like, I think you said the dryness. I'm getting like like an oak tannin type of thing, but like it's not. See, I don't know if it's dryness or if it's like the actual like a bitter chocolate. Like, you could yeah, I could I could see that. I'm getting some kind of like tannic or slightly astringent like dryness. In I'm the starting nose. to get the spiciness. It's, it's opening up a little bit. Oh yeah. And this is definitely room temp, so we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's been sitting out yeah, a little bit. What is that? Pretty much all day. <laughs> it, it, listen, it does it does it smells pretty good. Yeah, it, it, it does. So let's dive in, shall we? Let's do it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Cheers, Keith. Boys. Cheers. Yeah, thanks, thanks Keith. Keith. Appreciate it. The hell? <laughs> I am it's just not weird. getting much at all. Getting, like no, there's like it's devoid of most flavor. I don't understand. It's like a bitter cacao bar with some bitter like I don't know. I'm not even getting bitterness. I'm getting like I'm not getting anything. My palate might be broken. It's really creamy. Oh no, it's very smooth. The body and mouthfeel are nice. The body is oh, like higher side of medium. It, you said you said it though. It's super like soft and creamy, but like. That's, there's not much flavor. There, wise, is, so. there is literally, I mean, our palate might be shot to be fair, but at the same time, I don't think so. Cause we just did a beer before this and there was definite flavor. This doesn't have much. 2019. Mm -hmm. We just turned it into 2022. Told us to drink within six months. Yeah. That's probably honest. Uh, it's, it's, Poor Keith. here's the thing. The best thing I can say about it, it's not bad or anything. Like it's not, 
It's not offensive. It's just there's not. If you covered up the adjuncts on that and said, "Hey, here's a porter." Yeah, no. Like, I, oh, just a regular porter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that's. I mean, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of roasted malt, um, a little bit of like earthy dryness, and that's like it. I'm gonna go see what I said about this beer because I, I. So full disclosure, I apparently had this one before. I don't remember when. That that's gonna be interesting. I want to see what's up. I don't. Yeah, I didn't look at it. Uh, it does have like a. Like a shelfy porter mm. kind of flavor to it. Okay, so I gave it a four out of five, and my exact and I had this on November 29th of two thousand nineteen. Okay. Okay. So this one was relatively fresh, mm-hmm. pretty good. I was hoping for more based on the brewery and the ingredients. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, so maybe it was a little subdued back then too. Yeah, I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I just. If you're giving me a winter porter and it has coffee, cinnamon, and then Asian vanilla beans, again, again, like what you said though, this this is like <coughs> two years and like four months old or three months old, and they say to drink within six months, so that's not necessarily an. And a non barrel aged beer that's seven point two. Yeah, ABV. so it hasn't held up all that well. But the good thing is here, this has not become infected. This has not turned sideways. There's nothing bad about it. There's no sourness from infection. Uh, there, the green, the coffee didn't turn into green pepper astringency. Mm. I could easily drink this and not be mad at it. But what I go to harken back to my check-in for what is on the ingredients list and what I was hoping for, yeah. nah. But again, it's, it's old, so. I don't think it'd be fair to rate it. Well, I'm going to rate the shit out of that. All right. <laughs> Absolutely rate the shit out of that. All right. I got a scale of one to rating it, I'm rating it. All right. Once you rate it. Three five five. Okay. What about you? I don't know. Uh, three two five. It's not bad. Now, are you basing that rating off of what it is or what it should be? What it is. What I'm drinking. I always. I don't. I don't. So I don't rate the style ever, okay. unless I specifically say in the review, like if I'm doing like a style that I feel like, like so adjunct loggers. I'm not a huge adjunct lugger guy, so I'll rate the style and my personal rating to understand people that like I don't like it. This I'm rating two. What I enjoy, and it's a three five five. It's not bad. I'll just, I could I could easily if someone said I love their creaminess. In the yeah, I think the yeah. mouth. I think uh, the mouthfeel without that mouthfeel, this is like a three. Yeah, it, it's it saves the beer to some extent. Yeah, it is. But there's a lot to be desired. But there's though. literally nothing bad about the beer. Like there's nothing going. Eh, it's, it's not bad, but it's not great. Mm-hmm. It, it happens. Yeah, but it's old. So no. Yeah. No. How long have you had this for? A few months. Okay, so it was aged by Keith then. Yeah. yeah. Keith, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Keith. Yeah. Um, Keith's great. No, I, I. It was fun to try. Don't check out 93 right. Lumber, by the way. Yeah. Please check out 93 Lumber. Yep. Keith drinks some fun beers. Yeah, he <laughs> I mean, he just sends beers. you, you know, H Hill Farm says, no big deal or anything. Yeah. You know? Right. He had a line around. I think it was propping I up mean, a bookshelf listen, or something. <laughs> when, when I've drank Hill Farm says in the past, I've had some great beers from them. And everyone knows they're a great brewery, world class. But like this, I get our, I get why they said drink <laughs> within six months. Like, right, I get it. Yeah, but I don't know. See, like some other brewers, I noticed that they put it on their label too. I think it's just uh, so you get it with all the adjuncts present. Yeah, because uh, adjuncts. The one thing about beer is adjuncts. Certain ones specifically fall off. A lot of spices fall off. Right. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, we're not getting. I'm not getting any yeah. vanilla. Vanilla, like yeah. vanilla beans. There's no vanilla. Yeah. I mean, even like huge barrel, like. Some of the bourbon counties, some of them are like, yep. Oh, hey, this will condition in the bottle up to two years or yeah. whatever. But you know, all right. Uh, yeah, it's it's been fun. What did uh, you give it? Um, I'm not gonna rate it. You, you better rate it. We rate it. We're, We're drinking a two and a half year old beer that should have been enjoyed within that six months. Now, like, eh. just rate that. I give it a four four. Six out of ten. <laughs> so that's uh, a two, two out of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can math. <laughs> yeah. No, it's all right. all right. The mouth and creamy mouth feels well, it keeps bringing me back. So, yeah, it's just the mouth. Where's the mouth? We're ending <laughs> this now. It's been real. This has uh, just been quite the day full of it's been a great time. Yeah. This is the last <laughs> review we're doing. Is... 
for a good reason. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it's been a great day. We drank, some, we drank some awesome beer. Could be the palate. I think it's just the beer. Clearly, on my based on my hunger. Could be chart. both. Yeah, it could be a little bit yeah. of both. Yeah. It could be could be Danny Darko. Who knows? Like, yeah. Know. Mikey Melancholy. You know what they say? <laughs> it's uh, people you surround yourself with that influence. That's right. I brought him down all, all right. the time. Uh, <laughs> cheers. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.